it's time for a brown foreman double oak off. Are they the same? Is one better than the other? It's time to find out. Hello and welcome to Molly Show. Today we're looking at two really interesting bourbons, two of my favourite bourbons of all time, uh, Old Forest 1910 and Woodford Reserve Double Eight. What makes this such an interesting comparison is that they are both owned by the same parent company called Brown Foreman and they are also both double oaked. Now what double oaked means is it is putting a new oak barrel to age but once it's aged a sufficient amount of time it is then put in another new oak barrel to age some more time and there will be different char levels on these barrels for instance uh, Woodford Reserve it is um, finished in a newly heavily toasted barrel and then, then but it's charred initially in a slightly charred barrel. Um, there is much less information, unfortunately, about 1910. Um, I can't find how long it's actually been aged for, but it's got to be over four years because it calls itself a straight bourbon. Anything that's a straight bourbon is aged over four years. So it's going to be really interesting to compare the two. Um, I think they've got a similar mash bill. I know the Woodford does have a high rye mash bill, um, but I'm not so sure about the Old Forester. Again, they're very secretive about their mash bills and about um, how long their whiskey is aged for. So it's gonna be really interesting to see, and uh, I'm gonna do it blind. So I'm not gonna go know which one is which, and I'm gonna pick my favorite. Right then, so here we have two whiskies. I do not know which one's which. I've had my lovely daughter pour these out for me um, and she's marked them up so she knows which ones they are, but I don't know is in here which one they are. So, if I was to say which one was gonna be my favorite out of the two from the beginning, I would probably guess it would be the 1910, um, but I, I do love them both, so it's going to be really uh, quite, I'd, I'd imagine it's going to be quite hard for me to differentiate between the two. As I say, they're the same company, they're both double oaked, but let's uh, let, let's have a spell on the nose and see what if, if I can uh, tell any difference between the two. Well, actually, let's, let's compare the uh, colour first. Both look very similar, if anything, this one on the right is slightly darker but it's very very hard to tell all right so let's give him a smell oh yeah that's lovely now you can see those legs going up there looks good So that is giving off, uh, it's got some cherries in there. Definitely some maple syrup. It's brown foreman, so it's definitely got some banana on there. Brown foreman have, do have a lot of banana. Let's try this one. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if it's because I'm spelling this one second, but it feels more subdued. Give this one another try. Yeah, this one definitely has um, more of a smell to it. Yeah, you've got that banana, you've got that syrup. Even maybe even a little nutty smell in there. Let's try this one. It smells, it smells really nice, but it isn't as intense. Let's 
Just try and get some notes out of this one. Definitely more just the syrup coming through on there. The more I'm spreading it, the more I get sort of a pancakes and syrup, which is a really big thing people always say about the Woodford Reserve. Whereas this one, I'm getting that banana through more. I'm getting some more berries. Some vanilla on there. Definitely more flavours coming through there. Although that, I don't know if it's because it's been sitting a bit longer now, but. Yeah, it is still more reserved, but you still do get that vanilla through. And um, you don't get the berries, you get more berries on that one. Perhaps more banana on that one. I'm really quite surprised at how different they are. I thought they'd be a, a lot similar, to be honest. Um, I thought, yeah. There might be a little bit of difference between the two, but that, that one's got a lot more smell to it than, than this one. So let's try them on the palette, shall we? Hmm. Just reminds me of why I like them so much. Yeah, someone's got a lot of syrup on it, but then he's got he's got vanilla and banana. Maybe not as many berries as I can smell there, but definitely on the palate, he's got the syrup, he's got the banana. You know, it reminds me of a kind of banoffee pie, which is the first thing I said about the 1910 when I tried it. So I'm really am going in the direction of that being 1910 and that being the Woodford right now, but let's have some water and uh, try this one. This one's definitely coming across as more oaky. I feel like there's a lot more oak in there. So <laughs> whichever one is talking about the age statement was, I'd say that this one is aged further, which obviously not knowing what the 1910 is aged for, um, it's hard to say. I mean, seven years seems quite a long time for the, for the Woodford and I wouldn't imagine that the uh, 1910 was aged for further than that so but perhaps it is I don't know uh, let's just try this one again Definite banoffee pie vibes, and banoffee pie is my favourite. Anything with a banana um, taste in it, uh, you know, I really love. Let's just uh, pin the palette. Both really nice, but I'd say that one's definitely more reserved. And yeah, the, the, it really surprises me how far that they are sort of apart um, between the two of them. I really thought it would be a lot closer. So yeah, it's um, 
quite amazing. Mm. Vanilla, though. maybe caramel, maybe syrup. Oh, but this it's a ribbon. And that you really do get that banana on the back take back end of that. It's, uh, it's what I love about these two. You do get that banana, but I'm definitely feeling the banana more on that one than on this one. And let's try uh, this one. In terms of ABV as well, I'd, I'd definitely say the uh, this one on the rolling does have a little bit more of a kick than the, than this one. Um, what are they percentage wise? Um, got 43.2 on the Woodford ABV and 46.5 on the Old Forester, which does point again to this one being the Old Forester and that one being the Woodford. I'm pretty confident that this one is the Old Forester and that's the Woodford. So I'm going there and there. And my favourite of the two, I've got to say, is this one. Am I about to be proved wrong that the Woodford is my favourite? Or, yeah. I'm pretty confident that, that that's the right way around, but let's make a fool of myself, shall I? Woodford Reserve is, so I got that right. I thought I did. Quite pleased with myself. But both fantastic. Both really nice. So both fantastic pours. Absolutely lovely. Um, Old Forester came out on top. Um, I thought it might do. But it's such a lovely bourbon. Um, if you can get hold of it, do give it a try, but also do with the Woodford Reserve. Um, in terms of pricing here in the UK where I live, um, the, the Old Forester I managed to get for £70. Actually, that was quite cheap for what I got it for. It was going for £115 for a long time, but I kept my eye on it, I kept my eye on it, and eventually came down to £70, and that's when I pulled the trigger on that one. Uh, it's a birthday present for me off the wife. Um, so I can appreciate it's quite expensive, but if you do have £70 that you want to spend on a bourbon, that's a great choice. Absolutely one of my favourite of all time. Uh, the Woodford Reserve, really nice, really nice. Um, not to take away from, from it, it's just, there's just a bit more flavour in this one today. Uh, but this one, uh, that maple syrup and pancakes that everyone says about that rings true to me that is a, a really really something that comes through to me um, on the taste it really does taste like that and price wise uh, usually goes for around 55 pound here in uh, here in the uk you do get deals on it i did actually see in tesco uh, a big supermarket here for 42 pounds um, not only a few weeks ago and that is a seriously great price if you see that for that price you know you, you will do no wrong by picking that up because you know as far as quality bourbons go and what you can pick up here that is really something special so thanks for joining me today this has been a really interesting comparison for me i've loved comparing the two of these Two of my favourite bourbons. Uh, don't need to tell me to that twice. Uh, but if you did enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe. Uh, links are in the description. And uh, cheers for now.